And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Verstappen, Gasly and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying complete... Good day today. Let's have your take on it. You won't be starting at the front of the pack. Are you worried? There's quite a buzz around this team at the moment. Great. Well, that's everything. Welcome to Budapest once again for another round of the Formula One World Championship. Historically, a good race for first victories with Button, Hill, Alonso and Heike Kovalainen all reaching the top step of the podium for the first time here. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side once again to offer his perspective. Let's talk about more. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Norris, Sainz, Lance Stroll and Gasly, Ricardo, Ocon, Moore and Antonio Giovinazzi. Matsushita, Perez, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. George Russell and Joe, Leclerc, Sonoda, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin, Vettel and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish.
Engine off. Engine off. So Mercedes have won it, and what a great race it was. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. Meanwhile, Alpine move up the table with another strong performance this weekend. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One. luck out there today. Let's talk about it. Your car seemed to be having some problems there. What was the cause? It must be incredibly frustrating to not make it to the end of a race due to car issues. What went wrong out there? Great. Well, that's everything. It's contract renewal time, so think about if this is where you still want to be. We can try and negotiate a better deal here, but we also have the chance to look elsewhere. Great. They're happy to enter into negotiations with us. Great. They're happy to enter into negotiations with us. <laughs> 